today I thought I'd show you my latest pattern which is the guardsman okay and he really is cute he's playing the drum okay so um I'm sort of thinking what could I, I make next I'm always thinking what can I make next and I've made the, the Royal Irish and I've read the PSNI male and female officer and I thought right well what's next okay and I thought well I'll do a bands man and mum suggested that I do the um the queen's the guards man the queen's guards man so um I have had a look at the internet and came up with some photographs and this is my interpretation okay um so he is wearing a red tunic um, he's got black boots, he's got a red stripe of his trousers, okay, he's got a red tunic on, um, a gold belt, stitched up here, he's got sort of a white flash um, either side, so, uh, you know, I knit that separately and stitched it on to the, the jacket, um, a white belt, gold buckle, alright, and I actually achieved that. It's actually very neat and the reason why I did that was I put on a silver um, out of my jewellery findings box, you know, a silver ring, all right, and then I didn't think it looked right and I thought it needed to be gold. So I stitched over the ring so it, it actually gave a very good effect and then I, and I put a, a centre parting down it and I was very, I thought that was very nice. Um, he's got eight buttons okay and uh, so he's got a, a band that, that's sewn down and then a white band on top and to the um, the left of the, the white band on the, the band there's it there can you see um, he has eight buttons and they seem to go you know different regiments there were like two and two and two but um, this this one that I did photograph of, he had four buttons and then a bit of a gap and then four buttons. Okay, but it was hard to get the bit of a gap, the space. All right, and I used slightly bigger beads that I had in my box, which worked very well. Um, on the the photograph, he also has like a, a little bit up here with some buttons on, so I might add them on, but I didn't think it needed it. All right, so he has black. And he's got a collar, black collar, black cuffs, black collar with a white edge. And how I achieved the white, the white edge was I, I knit the couple of rows and then I joined in the white and cast off with the white. So I did the same with the collar. All right. And on the collar, he has two. These are these little daisy spacer jewellery findings. The two beads would do for um, his lapel badges, collar badges. OK. Um, I, I, in the pattern it'll show you the, the way I did it and I actually um, didn't do it that way when I was making this doll but I, I wrote it down easier I think because I actually did the, the white colour when I cast off of course there was a black edge and a black edge there so I over sewed with white all right to cover that but I prepared the colour with the, the, the little badges before I put it on the next doll so that I wasn't having to go in and try and sew on those little collar badges because that was difficult, all right. Um, he's got epaulettes, the same effect where I, I, I knit them in black and then I cast, I joined on the white and cast off. Um, at the back of the doll, all right, um, I had originally left the back plain and then I thought, no, that doesn't look right. So I went and had a look at the photograph and what they actually have is four buttons and they've actually got four like epaulettes nearly either side, but it was hard to create. But anyway, I think this gives a representation of it. Um, so anyway, it gives you, I don't know how these guys ever sit down. They mustn't ever sit down because they would be sitting on these four big buttons. But anyway, um, so I suppose they're always standing guard, aren't they? The, the guardsmen, all right. So um, this one has a drum and the drum was made very simply with a, um, it was actually a kitchen roll tube. And there's, a, there's several layers of kitchen roll tube. So I cut the, the first one and then I cut about three that might I used the whole kitchen roll tube and I actually sliced down so that I could fit them inside just to give extra strength um 
a couple of discs and I show you in the pattern how to do it. It's it's worked out very well. So I got my drum shape and then I covered it. Um, this is a twisted cord that I actually stitched before I put these grey rims on. I stitched up and down the twisted cord. All right. Um, my um, join around the neck, but I put. Um, I could take this off to show you, I suppose. But I put. Um, I'll take it off and let you see. All right. Um, this is just a. You cast on so many, and you can You knit one row, and you cast off. All right. So then I was trying to get it so that it would sit right on the doll. So I've discovered that at the back, and I used whenever I was putting it on, I looked at the drum and I picked the worst looking edge because the worst looking side of the drum because I thought you're not going to see that's going to be you know against his body you know so that's what I did there that was the first bit where my V's didn't come right but you won't see that in the doll okay um so I stitched it on and the reason why I stitched it on and a V was whenever I was putting it on the doll um if I stitched it any other way it didn't sit properly when the doll was standing he does stand but the drum is actually quite heavy so it takes a wee you have to sort of he's you have to sort of arch his back slightly to make him stand better but anyway there he is um his drumsticks are made with um straws and you put them inside each other for strength so you can get a bit of strength Okay, and they're plastic straws. I don't know. I know people are now. Um, they're not. They're not going to have plastic straws in the future. I may may stock up on them because a lot of my patterns use plastic straws as the structure. Okay, so they're just stitched to the hand. All right, but as Mum said, without the drum and just standing, he wouldn't need his drumsticks. He he looks. He's still a nice doll without the drum. This one has a drum, and his. His Busby, it, you know, you just, whenever I, you do the faces exactly the way I do the faces in all my other dolls, um, um, there's a video on it. Um, you, I put on the chin strap after I, I put the hat on, marked with the face, embroidered the face, all stitching from the top, um, put the, the chain, the chin strap on first and stitched it down and actually if I can feel it it's up there you know where I stitched it then I put the hat on top and put a bit of stuffing in so that he would stand up um, so there he is the guardsman and I, I really am pleased with this one he's I like you know he's cute I like most of the dolls I make to tell you the truth but this one is I think cute I was having a look at um different photographs I'm sort of half toying with the idea of doing a Royal Marine um, next um, um, with a flat cap um, but you know sometimes I get waylaid all right so there he is the the guardsman I think he's absolutely beautiful um, the pattern is available on my website and um, and I love to see when people send me emails, they'll, they'll email me and, and say, well, this is what I knit or I changed it in such and such a way. And and then I put the pictures that people send me onto my website. And there's some, we're up to 22 pages of pictures and there are some fantastic knits up there. Um, and, you know, they're not all identical to my pattern. They've used my pattern as the basis. But um, and then they've tweaked them, you know, especially the band patterns. So really, really love to hear from people. And there he is, the bands man.